I feel like a pumped up Bob the Builder right now. What's going on guys? We are back. It is a windy day. So that means it's gonna be a good test for this platform. Goal today, I'm gonna beef up the bottom of this and we're gonna try to finish. I got a goofy idea to try to run that out to that tree as well. And uh, we'll get our sides up. Once again, we're just winging it, seeing what happens. For those of you know, who know, I always find golf balls and stuff out here. Because across the creek, they teeing off this way. And either somebody's hitting a uh, baseball with aluminum bat or teeing off. So we'll try and build this without getting knocked out by a golf ball. We'll see. See what happens. I got a different idea of how I can help hold a log there too. Um, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'll show you real quick. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna do another uh, fork support, but use that to hold up a log on the side. Instead of just explaining, it, just show us. Jeez. All right. You see that little V in the tree right there? That V. That's what we want. It's tall enough, small enough. Cut that one down, and we'll use that V. Speaking of golf balls, found one. Yeah, it should be all right. All right. Go. It's windy as heck. All right, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this tree, and this stick, and see if it's about there. That should give me an idea where I'm gonna cut this. Um, I'll probably be able to cut this like here. Perfect, it's gonna be perfect. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the hatchet, turn the bottom into a spike. Simple. Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. Maybe you're in the garnet. I don't know. Whatever, I don't know the difference. I'm just saying right now. <laughs> Stupid stuff. I lost my cordage around my neck. Okay, 
helper and stab this end in. Magic, it held it up for me, perfect. So now all I gotta do is move the ladder over here, get all this tied up, my hands are free. I don't have to worry about falling on the ladder now. Use your brain, you know. It may not all come to you at once. Think about it the next day. Hey, there you go, hot nigga the dog. Beautiful. Same thing again on the other side. We got our little fork stick holding up that end. We're gonna run it underneath this one. And we'll be able, what that would allow us to do you see how that one's lower, of course. It'll allow us to run braces across here. All the way. So I'll run a few. That'll make it extra sturdy. So if that ever does slip, it'll fall on the other one and put pressure, of course. So I think we'll be all right. I'll be happy with that. And then, of course, on this side, this will extend our fort out to the edge of that. And then we can always add on and go from here to this tree to that tree, to that tree. Man, we can go throughout this whole forest if we want. World's ours for the taking, you just gotta take it. Or fake it till you make it. Screw that, learn it till you earn it. We'll shove some under. Go for gold! greatest touch but at least it's another layer of support I'm just gonna throw a bunch of them and we'll just uh, kind of like log cabin the floor a little bit and then uh, shout out to I believe it was James Altoon I don't know why I didn't think of this I can't take credit for this one he told me to uh, alter the ends of the log so put a fat end down here fat end down there so that way kind of like how do I explain this two pieces of candy corn and you put them together it makes a perfect square <laughs> you get what I'm saying read his comment on the last video he'll, he'll explain a little better than me but yeah I'll show you uh, once we get up there but yeah see what happens I only got a few thick ones that are Actually working out. I got a bunch of small ones up here. They ain't really touching. Too great. There we go. That one touches almost the whole way. Perfect. Awesome. I trust that even better right there. All right. Yeah. Have football practice over there. This background noise. For those of you just turning in, once again for the millionth time, this is an urban location. So if you don't like that, then you might want to tune into another station. All right. I'll throw one more big one. I got two solid ones that are long enough to fit through here. And I think that should be just fine. I ain't gonna do a bunch of little ones across the bottom. Uh, I'll just space these ones 
and we'll run with that. Oh, come on. That'll put a wrench in the old neck. Okay, perfect. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Should we send it? We're going to fall off because of tree bark. Uh, uh. I trust it. A bunch of them up there with little branches hanging off or kinks in and stuff. Tripping hands, not cool. Look at that shaky, shaky, shaking, baggy, lemon cakey. Set the ocean in motion, in motion, in the ocean on the land boat and clubs. Oh, God. Oh. Now that's uh, something good. <laughs> We are up here now, and I'm out in the middle. I'm not scared of it anymore. We'll see what happens. Not really too faint, or too scared, whatever. <laughs> uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip these. Alter the big end with the small end, so it'd be big end, small end, big end, small end. You get the point. Flip them around. And uh, go from there. Should make it a little bit easier, hopefully. Theoretically, see what happens. Sorry if it's a little crooked. I got you wedged in a tree. <clears throat> yeah, what he said, it'll help even out the spaces and. Uh, First, the weight. We'll see what happens here. It's bigger than small. There's still a heck of a gap. It's not going to be perfect. I only gotta do every other one. Good. Jeez. What's going on here? Something funny. Something funny going on around here. I'm gonna have to flip that one and cut it. When the wind blows, it's about to. I better hang on. It makes it feel like <laughs> we're on a skateboard here. I don't know if you can see it pick it up or not. Look at the tree swinging. The whole fort is moving. Yeehaw. Yeah, I did bring uh, 
some old nails from a job I saved some nails from. Great story. So we're going to tack a few down just to hold it in place. Otherwise, flipping it really didn't make too much of a difference on some of them. So I just slammed them tight the, the other way. As tight as I can get them because our trees are not the straightest. But, yeah! Around the time, I do have some rope that I was going to string around for like a, a hand rail for now. But uh don't think so. I think we're just going to wing it here. See what the heck happens. I don't know. Play it by ear. Too bad it didn't have a beer. There she goes, Shishka Bobby Rocky. Just thinking, this can be really sweet. Check this out. Zip line, yo. It's gonna happen. Alright, well, the problem with these nails is one half of them aren't big enough to make it through here. So, I tried one and it just instantly collapsed. I'm gonna shake the shoot out of you. Oh, it's gonna turn me into a liar. It's gonna make me a liar. No, yeah, these nails are just. Once it starts to get a little bit too hard, they just fall over. So we'll probably just tie some crap down. I'm not really too worried about that right now. And I'm down to my last roll of paracord. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get some of these sides up. At least a top rail and a bottom rail. Yeah, rails. Throw up some sticks and start chopping. I don't have no hair to pull. Whatever. Ow, I punched it. I took my finger. Ah. Every time I do that, son of a biscuit eater. I don't want you to cut that. Whatever. Punching trees. Dog. Ah. Bloody knuckles. Getting that beautiful angle, you might ask. Well, I uh, climbed down, pressed play, came all the way back because I do it for the fans. Even though it sucks getting in and out here, kind of right now. <laughs> Better angles. Be all right come morning. Gonna run out of paracord soon. Paracord paradise. That's what this is gonna be. <laughs> Everything we went to a place in the woods, man. Everything we just paracord everywhere. Yeah. 
All right, this is all I got for paracord left. I should be able to get it. Uh, ouch. This side up. See this whole thing just rig rocking. <laughs> this thing's gonna be gnarly camping in this. Camp out in the storm in here. It's gonna be crazy. I don't know exactly know what I'm gonna do to the sides. I'm just gonna put rails up for now. As much as I can till I run out of paracord. And we're gonna have to beat feet. Uh, that way if somebody does climb up here, they'll somewhat be safe. I ain't worried about the floor except for there. If I put a rail here, it should be okay. So that's winging it. Yeehaw. We're out to the sea for 45 days. <laughs> so we're gonna rig this one. Stuff through the tree. Thought it was gonna work. Thought it was gonna work. It did work. Somewhat. Uh. Cool beans. Extra stiff. Just how one likes it. Sorry. Not sorry. I'm gonna get in trouble one of these days. Just another manic Monday. <laughs> Where's your What uh, in the fiddling? <laughs> I don't know if I like that one. Not long enough. I mean, these ain't completely gonna stop you or nothing, but they'll give you a good idea of stay away from the edge. Close. That one. Those ones at least I'm just gonna leave set there. So I'm gonna do a whole totally thinking zip line. <laughs> I really wanna do zip line that way. That'd be freaking awesome. Now maybe zip line off that way and a freaking water slide into the creek. <laughs> oh man, that'd be insane. I don't know. So many ideas. So crazy. Crazy ideas. It's not going to be completely airtight or anything. So I'm not too worried about it. We're just winging it, having a good time. A couple laughs, a couple cries, a couple owies. Got boo boo. Uh, so that one I'm just going to set there. Set there. Probably tie the two little ones off behind us. And then uh, I'm almost thinking. If I do runs periodically, like every two feet, and then uh, you guys are gonna hate me, but just like the old shelter, 
how the branches were through it, turned this thing into like a freaking bird nest. I don't know. And it helped disguise it a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. down to get a new battery because I left it all down there. I found some more cordage that I had over there and a piece of paracord that I dropped. Forgot about. So perfect. Works out. Great. Just got to watch your step here. I'm going to have to add another one under there. I believe so. That's what we're going to have to do there. Yeah. We're gonna have to do that under that. I should be stepping out here. That eh, doesn't move much, but safety first. Yeehaw! We got our rails up. Long side. Looking good. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna go ahead and cut off all the big ugly ones. Not gonna put in a complete straight line, but we're gonna go ahead and trim it up a little bit. Maybe get rid of these back ones over here. Make it look a little bit nicer. A little pretty like. Woo! Oh my god! Oh boy! We're surfing now! Here we go. Look at the trees. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna hit the tops off. Oh man, this is wild. Yeah. Once we get a roof on her, poof, goes to the top of the trees. Yeah, sailboat. Wow, this gone boy when I broke it the first time I had uh, what was it 260 or whatever or 60 whatever the heck uh, large tooth that thing worked way better with the replacement one I got medium I miss it I miss it dearly actually give me the freaking give me the old bow reel How much less of a struggle? Ah. Yeah. Oh, guys, she's coming along. I think we're gonna call this the Eagle's Nest. It's the Eagle's Nest. I'm debating on doing the uh, sides every two foot wicker basket in it, basket in it. Or I kind of want. I think I have enough log down low to run them up and down. You know, up and down the whole way around this. I think that'd look a lot sweeter for sure. But if I do that, I think I'm gonna kind of cheat. I might drill it. <laughs> I might drill it in. I mean, I could do the old school hand drill and wood peg it, but uh, you know what? It is what it is. If I do that, yeah, I might drill it. Maybe run some bigger ones across. That way it's just easy. I could just stand them up, run them, cut them. Hey, I'll even bring a skill saw next time. What's up? No, I might. Oh, whoa. Might be able to do that. <laughs> Run a skill saw along the top, cut them all evenly, perfectly one shot. It is a technological, tech, technological, te 
technology type world <laughs> these days. Whatever. But yeah. All right, I think it's time to get down from here. And uh, plus we're out of paracord. Um, I have a little bit of strains of the other stuff, but I don't really want to tie each piece of wood up here. I think I'm going to gather my thoughts and figure something out for the sides. Now once we get the sides figured out, we're going to get uh, wild with a roof. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll see. All right, let's get down on the ground. justice there. So, I'm going to move it to the side. A little too short. Come on. Cut it, you know, just a little bit, make life a little easier. I always choose the hard route. Why? Why? I know it's not completely foundation like, but uh, it'll be all right. All right, I think we're pretty good on our supports. That's going to help tremendously. This wind is crazy. It's just swaying. It's like a sway, sway. Insane. I don't know. We'll have to see how this plays out, but I'm digging it. It's fun, something new. The eagle's nest will rise. It's Alright, but we're about to get out of here. But first, you remember this golf ball? Huh? Or did you forget? Should we send it back to him, maybe bushcraft style? Try. See if we can bounce it off a tree and then hit it back, knock ourselves out. See what happens. Oh boy. Alright, you guys ready for this? <laughs> Alright. Tiger Woods would be proud, maybe. <laughs> oh boy. Four! Oh shit. <laughs> Curse words. Retake. Do it again. Ah, oh, I broke my stick. Ah! No! Tree down. Tree down. Alright, retake. Can't do it with both hands. I hurt my wrist. Four! It's gonna have to do. Ow! Alright, time to stop lollygagging. Get back to reality. Pack it up and head out of here. We'll see you after the day. We're supposed to get some high winds the next couple days. Once we get back out here and uh, see what happens to her. 
only threat's really gonna be heavy winds and people. Well, doesn't look like we got a tremendous amount done, but it's time consuming, tedious little things. Um, tie this knot, tie that knot, smash your finger, then tie a knot around that finger. Yeah, little things, little things there. It's not gonna happen overnight, but we're gonna keep cracking on this. Um, keep the ideas rolling and uh, just keep moving forward. Urban Eagle Nest. <laughs> The, what are we going to call it? It's, it's going to be Eagle's Nest, I guess. We'll call it the uh, U.S. Urban Stealth Eagle's Nest. U.S. What, U.S.E.A.N.? Yeah. Urban Stealth Eagle Nest. My God, he forgot the alphabet. Whatever. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for coming along with me. Thanks for putting up my shenanigans. Um, like I said, it's not going to happen overnight. Show you a little bit of progress here, a little bit of progress there. One thing at a time. Just winging it. I mean, I could wait, come out film, and then completely give you a super long video or something. But I like to show you the progress as we're going. So, yeah, and it's funner that way. I like it. That way I feel more accomplished by myself, too. But that's beside the point. Anyway, we're almost out of here. Make every day great exploring on Earth. Catch you guys on the next one. Have a real humdinger of a day.